Hey boys and girls, as you can see, my son Braden's got the Orchard View Eagle shirt on. We're ready for the first activity for field day. This is the Frisbee can knockdown, or if you have a water bottle, that works. Make sure it's empty so it's easy. Um, you want to be about 10 feet apart. Boys and girls, are you ready to play the first game? I said, are you ready to play the first game? It's time to play the game. All right, Braden, let's see it. One minute on the clock. Nice. He keeps going for one minute. You set it back up. Awesome. That's first station. Okay, boys and girls, this is where we're going to be using the bases for our activity number two for field day at home. We have one base there. And then mark off a good distance for the second base. And Braden is going to run back and forth for one minute. Are we ready? Set. Go. Just keep going back and forth. Awesome. Next, we'll show you the number three. All right, boys and girls, now we have that giant ball. We're going to still have these bases out. And you're going to be, again, one minute timer. You know, walk back and forth, see how many times you can do it for one minute. Are we ready? Boys and girls at home, are we ready? Set, go. Concentration is the key for this. Hey, if the ball falls down, that's okay. Just put it back in between the legs. Touch the base, and then you come right back to the other. You keep going for the one minute timer. Great concentration there. Next, we'll show you the next field day at home activity. Our next competition for field day at home. You can compete against a brother or sister, or even your parents. We've got the sack race with pillowcases. We're gonna go down to the end and back. See who's the winner, set. Go! Ooh, Braden took a tumble. Sometimes you take a tumble in the sack race, you get back up. Here we go, coming down to the finish line. Oh, another tumble. And we have a winner. You can do that a couple times if you want. We're gonna show you the next event. Okay, boys and girls, we have our next Field day at home activity. We've got the parachute going right here. You're gonna get a towel. Could be a beach towel. Get a small ball and you're gonna shake it up and down. Have a lot of fun with that. Look at that. Oh, go get the ball when it goes out of the parachute and do it again. Okay, you can do it as long as you want. If you wanna do it one minute, if you wanna try to see how long you can keep that ball up without falling. See how high you can get it and catch it? There you go. All right, our next station uh, that we're gonna do field day is doing some sidewalk chalk. If you don't have sidewalk chalk, you can just, you know, draw a pretty picture on a piece of paper. Just enjoy making some sidewalk chalk or draw a picture. It's a lot of fun. Normally we have that at field day at school. So hope you enjoyed this one. On to the next one. All right, our next field day at home activity is blowing bubbles. Okay. Okay. You get your bubbles and you just kind of blow them and do this for one minute. See how many bubbles you can make. Oh, and some nice ones. It's a little bit windy, so they're really blowing away. All right, we'll show you the next field day activity. Okay, boys and girls, we have our last field day at home activity. This is a one-on-one -on -one competition. Find a sibling, parent. You could do it by yourself if you have to. We got shoes on the other side. Very important you wear shoes. Laces untied. You're gonna run down, put your shoes on, tie them. Gotta be fully tight. And back to the finish line. Ready, go! They're under the shoes here. 
Braden's got his is getting his left one on. Natalie's got the right one on. Looking for some tying here. She's tying it. It does not have to be double knot. Can be single knot. She's working on the second one. Braden still he had the left one came off. It's coming back on. She's up and at him. She is going to make it to the finish line. Hey boys and girls, this is Mr. Gillette. I hope you enjoyed field day at home. Hey, I just want to say I miss you guys. I hope you have a great summer and uh, hope to see you in August. See ya.